Hello teachers! Hello September 2024 takers! Diyos marahin na po sa gabos. For today, vectors po ulit tayo ang go between two vectors for our September 2024 math majorship. We have previous video for the same problem but may nag-message po na hindi niya daw po masundan. So, we will discuss this in more detailed way. So here we go. Find the acute angle between the two lines with direction numbers 110 and 212. The direction numbers, meron na po tayong tutorial for this and andito po ang ating link. Let us recall the definition of direction numbers. Component values of the vector along x-axis, y-axis, and c-axis, respectively. So, ibig sabihin po, vectors po talaga tayo. Dahil direction numbers, ibig sabihin po, x-component, y-component, and c-component of our vector. So, dito, paano po natin siya isosolve? We have our formula, cosine theta is equal to the dot product of vector A and vector B over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. So, ano po ba itong A and B na nakalagay dito? A refers to vector A and B refers to vector B. And kindly take note na ito po ating Numerator, I dot product po ang tawag. Dot product of our vectors A and B. And since we are to solve for the acute angle, so angle, hence theta. Theta is equal to the arc cosine of dot product of the two vectors A and B over the magnitude of vector A times the magnitude of vector B. Or, we can just simply the absolute value of A times the absolute value of B. Ayan. And since we are dealing with vectors, we will use mode 8 for our calculator techniques. So, let's start. And mode 8 po tayo. And tatanungin po tayo, Vector A, vector B, or vector C. Since we have two ve vectors here, vector A and vector B, so we will let this vector A and this one as vector B. So for now, we will input vector A and we will press 1 para sa ating vector A. Okay, so 1. Then tatanungin po tayo 3 or 2. So ano po ang ibig sabihin na to? Components. We have 1, 2, 3. So, we have 3 components sa ating problem. Therefore, ang pipiliin po natin ay number 1. Dahil, ito po ay components, components. So, ang pipiliin po natin ay number 1. Inulit ko lang po para mas maliwanag. Then, ito na po. Pwede na po natin i-input ang ating vector A. We have 1. Para ma-input po ang 1, we will press equal sign. So, ayun, naipasok na po natin. Then, 1 again, equal sign. And the third, we have 0. Ayan, equal sign. At na-input na po natin ang ating data for vector A. But, we still have vector B na kailangan din po natin i-input para makapag-proceed po tayo sa ating formula. So, paano po yun? Back po natin. Then, nasa vector mode na po tayo. So, ang gagamitin na po natin ay itong, ay itong vector na andito. Para ma-activate po ito, we will press shift 5. Lalabas po ang ating options. Diba po mag -e enter po tayo ng data ng ating vector B? So, 2 for data. Then, to ulit for vector B. 
components ay 3 kaya 1. Ayan, susundan lang po natin kung ano yung mga option na nandito. Then, we will input 2 equal sign 1 equal sign 2 equal sign. So, okay na po ang ating vector A and vector B. AC na po ulit, but we will now input the formula. So, inverse of cosine, arc cosine, shift cosine. So, ayan, pareho na po. Now, we have negative 1 exponent. Then, open parenthesis para ma-separate po natin ang ating numerator. So, RA stands for vector A, right? So, shift 5, hanapin po natin si vector A. This is number 3. So, number 3 po natin. Then, dot product. So, dot po itong ating below. Shift 5, hanapin natin si dot number 7. Ayan. Then, vector B. Shift 5. Ang vector B naman po natin ay 4. Ayan. Then, let's go to the denominator. Divide. Pwede din naman po ito. So, let's try this one. Then, open parenthesis. We have absolute, pareho lang naman po, absolute value of vector A or the magnitude. Para sa absolute, ayun po ang abs, shift, height. Ang abs po natin ay kakulay ng shift, kaya shift po muna bago ang height. So, ayan na po ang ating absolute symbol. Then, A po ang mauuna, shift 5, vector A is number 3. Then, times absolute value, symbol for vector B. Then, vector B na po ulit. Medyo madami pong pipindutin, pero kapag nakasanayan na po natin ay walang-wala na po yan. So, vector B, number 4. Then, close parenthesis and close parenthesis. Kasi di ba po, naka-open parenthesis po tayo sa nauna. Then, equal sign, the answer is 45, letter B. So, what if ang gamitin naman po natin ay division? Ayan, let's check. Ayan po, same lang naman. Ito po. Kailangan po natin i-note kung ilan po yung open parenthesis dito ay siya rin po dapat na close parenthesis natin sa likod para hindi po tayo mag-error. Para maiwasan po natin yung error na lalabas sa ating calculator. So again, it's 45 and it is letter. So ayan. And this is all about the angle between two vectors. Thank you for watching. Kind of share so we can help more self-review math nature takers. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless everyone.